Can we do the... I'm scared. Let's do it. Egg white test! I'm so scared. That looks totally interesting. Totally different. Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants. No dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you got to figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Welcome to my creative carnivore kitchen, carnivore girl here. Today I wanna make something um, I've already done before. No, of course, with a little bit of a twist. So I absolutely love the whipped egg white bread. Here is the recipe for that. And now I wanna make a whipped egg white bone broth bread. So yeah, you guess it right. I'm just gonna add some bone broth to it and yeah, see what comes out. So first, an important note. Well, or let's preheat the oven first to 320. Okay. Now, very importantly for whipped egg white bread, you don't want to use egg whites in a carton. No, no, no. They want whip as well. You want fresh, well, it doesn't have to be like from eggs from today, but like from a real egg, from a whole egg, the egg white. Separate the eggs and get the egg whites. I actually, these are my egg whites I'm gonna use. Yes, look at this. Oh my gosh, what, what is that? They were in the freezer. I took them out yesterday to defrost, except for that one that um, I separated yesterday. I used the yolk. So now I have 10 egg whites. I need 10. Um, if you want to know how to separate eggs, I show it here. Um, so yeah, no problem. You can... Uh, freeze eggs. You sh here is like one egg white, two whites. Here I have like two and one and one. And I always put the date down. And I knew that I would uh, use them all together, so I didn't mind to put them together. I mean, once they together, you can't really uh, separate them anymore. But so, uh, yeah, you can totally use frozen egg whites to whip. They will still whip just as well. Just no, 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 no. Okay. So one, uh, two, three. So for the egg white bread, usually I just have 10 egg whites and 10 to 20 grams of beef gelatin powder. Um, I made it once with 10 grams, grams, once with 20 grams. I like the 20 grams better. So here is the beef gelatin powder. This is 15 grams. I thought, let's do 15 grams because here the beef bone broth. And I'm using that one here. And ingredients, beef bone broth, concentrate powder. Um, so there's nothing else in it. And yeah, of course, all the um, amino acids, all that good stuff. So um, here I measured out 20 grams 
honestly i don't know yet how much i should use we will see um and you know the exact recipe will be in the description below and here's just some salt uh, that's way too much salt i will just sprinkle so uh, let's start with some salt yeah the first time i made the bread i didn't use enough salt the second time i used too much salt maybe i should like measure it out or or use a spoon or something but uh, let's see okay i want to start with it so i want to whip those very very well actually i just realized huh let's not do the same mistake again let's wait and let's prepare the form first so egg white is very very sticky um especially when it's uh, baked or whatever it just gets really sticky so here, I want to use um, a parchment paper because I hate cleaning those forms. You can also just use the form. This is a really cool form. Look at this. I love it. I need it really um, big. I know that. I'm pretty sure. So I can just grease up this form, but I want to grease up this instead. So I just take some tallow. I always have tallow in my freezer and sometimes also like right now here in the fridge so i want to grease this up and believe me it'll help so much so, now i'm gonna put that in here and yes i could cut it so it would really nicely fit and stuff but i don't feel like it so i'm just gonna do this And yes, you will have the marks on the bread, but I don't care. I think it's even cool. But if I want the bread really, really nicely, I like measure it out, I cut it, so it, it's really, it nicely fits. But otherwise, I just push it in here. And, uh, okay, so the form is prepared. So now let's start whipping this. So I already, Put in some salt, um, here the bone broth powder, the gelatin, and I'm just gonna start whipping and adding. Let's see. invented something this reminds me so much of meringue meringue can we do the i'm scared let's do it egg white test i'm so scared no. Ooh. fuck the consistency you know with the i used to, i used all of the bone broth part holy shit maybe i need to change this recipe to as a like well no the same recipe but uh, to Meringue, uh, meringue instead of uh, whipped uh, egg white bone broth bread or however I want to call it. Oh my gosh. Well, let's make a bread out of it now. And I'm, 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 I wrote down a recipe for meringue. I don't remember, but I wrote down something I thought. But this, I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh, and like this consistency. Fuck. Yeah, I just invented carnivore meringue. Look at this. Like the consistency is really. Wow. You want to make sure it gets in the corners everywhere. And you don't want to. Um, work with this too much. Like you don't want to go back and forth and back and forth. Otherwise, it's going to lose its um, volume. So you just get here in the corner, in the corner, corner, corner. Make sure it gets right here on the sides. And uh, push it down. Okay, now let's put the rest on top. I think I can even make it a bit smaller. This, I love this form. Also, what I like to do is like kind of... Yeah, that's 
good. Okay, in the oven. So in the middle of the oven, 320 preheated. My notes say 20 to 25 minutes. So that means I'm gonna check after 20 minutes. Bye, see you soon. Okay, 20 minutes are over and I think it looks good. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Ooh, look at this. Interesting. It will fall down. I don't know if that's... Let's see. Hmm. Now, nah, five more minutes. Okay, so 25 minutes. And let's take it out. Oh, that looks so interesting. Uh. <laughs> nice, nice color. I'm really curious. It uh, will fall down, I'm pretty sure. It, well, it's like with egg, uh, whipped egg whites, like souffle, then it's like nice. You see, it's already falling down. It's always sad, but oh well. Let's see if I greased it up well enough. Also, why I love this form so much. Now I can just see. Oh, there's one part. Oh, yeah. You see, that's where I, man. Yeah, that's where I made the hole in the parchment paper. Ah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you gotta grease it up. It comes off, but you gotta be careful, you see? And with the bone, bone broth powder is also super, super sticky. So as I said, egg whites get really, really sticky and the bone broth powder too. So it'll be sticky, sticky. I'm so glad I greased it up. And you see, it's falling down here totally. Totally normal, more normal, always happens. I feel like most of like the egg white kind of, I feel like I have like a, a layer here of, um, you know, cooked egg white, like not whipped, just like, yeah. And then here is more like the whipped part and well, it's gonna be interesting. I'm super excited to try this. Oh, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. And look at this, look at it now. It's like, schrumpfelig. It shriveled up. Actually, it doesn't break that easily. So it's not that uh, delicate to handle. So here, because yeah, you see that's also because I use parchment paper. Here I have like a dent. Um, because the parchment paper went in, so I'm gonna cut it right here. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> it is interesting to cut. I should have pushed the form together more. So I got it higher up, so it's not so long, so it would be smaller, but higher up maybe. So let's, ooh. That looks totally interesting. Totally different than from the whipped egg white bread. And here it's like what I talked about. I feel like, you see, this is like unwhipped or, well, I whipped all of the egg whites, but when you let the egg whites stand, they get unwhipped again. I didn't do that, but um, while baking, I feel like this, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So, I'm excited to try it. So, and as I mentioned, it looks completely different. Well, not completely, completely, but yeah, it, 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 it also feels very different. It's like the, the um, whipped egg white bread was, this is, see, I have stuff on my hands. It's like moist. The whipped egg white bread wasn't and it was like totally airy of course um like and this is not it's uh 
It's like spongy, but, but in a good way, like interesting, like really cool. And the top here, the stuff that got like um, the Maillard effect, um, kind of caramelized almost, is super sticky, super, super sticky. So I'm really convinced there's a lot of bone broth powder. Um, well, a good done. Let's try it. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's kind of like, wow, wow. Um, it's good. I, I, is it good? Yeah, it's good, but it's different. It's, it's, oh, I have to admit the bone broth pow powder. If I make like bone broth soup or like drink like hot water and it's it's not really good but for cooking i um used it before for cooking i actually like it or even the powder just like kind of eating the powder but um so this is like it's good it's good i like it but it's like oh wow it's different but um, of course it's totally not like the whipped egg white bread where it's like you you bite into a cloud you're like eating a cloud. Well, I've never eaten a cloud before, but that's what I imagine how it is to eat a cloud. And this, oh no, no, not at all. This is, um, but it's cool. Mm. It's kind of, the whipped egg white bread is, is very airy and you barely eat anything, basically. You, you basically eat air. This, you have more. I mean, it's not chewy at all. I mean, also, it kind of almost melts in your mouth. It's like also airy, also light, super light. Um, but uh, it's like, oh, I'm actually eating something <laughs> with the egg white bread. It's like, well, of course you also eat something, but it's like, yeah, not much there. <laughs> I really like it. But I also have to admit what I absolutely love about these um, whipped egg white breads and now whipped egg white bone broth uh, bread they're so I mean egg whites there's not much calories and you, you, I mean there's not much you can eat the whole thing I could eat two or three of them I don't get that many calories and um, uh, this is like a pure protein bomb I mean what do we have in here egg whites gelatin salt bone broth um, what also is super cool because I make other breads, really, um, yummy, um, breads, but they're already so dense or they're already, um, yeah, high in calories and stuff. This is really low in cal calories, uh, no fat. So, okay, let's put some fat on it. Let's put some fatty meat on it or let's spread some, um bone marrow on it raw bone marrow or raw um beef suet or um egg yolk um or like so it's like you can really top it you can really put stuff on it it doesn't get too much it's like it won't be too much it's not so that is super cool but i i kind of just wanna eat it like this mm. Oh wow, yeah, it's like, it's super moist, nice, it's like melting, like sticking, it's sticking to my gums, <laughs> super cool. Servus! I'm back, so I just keep eating it like that, yeah, look, really. So it's like the egg white. Here, ah, oh, here on top you still have a bit the fluffiness, but here you really get like uh, cooked egg whites. But, but it's good. I really like it. It's it's everywhere a bit different. <laughs> I think it's so cool. Now for real servos. Now me again because I just <laughs> I just keep biting off more and look. Now it's all nicely uh consistently as a like all mixed up before it was like not really mm, very well mixed up now here it's uh, uh, very well mixed up it's like 
always different but um super cool i i prefer the other one but this is cool too thanks for watching if you try out this recipe please tag me and let me know how you like it subscribe share like comment follow me on instagram at carnivore girl see you next week in my next episode of carnivore girls creative carnivore kitchen no plants no dairy the next level cooking show